Hello, welcome. Uh, take a moment, pause the video, read the problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so let's read it. The hours of daylight Y in Utica and days X from January 1st, 2013 can be modeled using the equation Y equals 3.06 times the sine of 0.017X minus 1.4 plus 12.23. How many hours of daylight to the nearest tenth does this model predict for February 14th, 2013? All right. So you've got a function here, right? I'm going to write it out so I can think about what it's saying. Y is equal to 3.06, that's our amplitude, times the sine of 0.017x, right? This is our k value. It helps us think about our frequency, minus 1.4. If we were to factor this out, we can see our phase shift, how much it moves it left or right, and then our vertical shift, how much it's moving up or down, and of course the amplitude is how much the sine function is being multiplied or stretched vertically. So um, so x is the number of days, right? Yeah, the number of days, and y is the amount of daylight. So we want to find the hours of daylight based on the number of days from January 1st. So there are 31 days in January, and to get to the 14th day of February, we are looking at 31 plus 14, which of course is 45 days. But, but, I'm not counting correctly here. <laughs> that definitely confused me at first. Um, what should we be counting? We should be counting, look at this, from January 1st. So on January 1st, that is day zero, right? This is day zero. This is where we start everything. So the first is day zero, January 2nd. The next day, that would be day one. In other words, let me say it this way. This is when x equals zero. And then on January 2nd, the next day, it's one day away from January 1st. And that's when x equals one, and so on and so forth. So really, it's 45 minus 1, and we're going to plug in 44 to this part of the equation right here. Now, when we do this, we want to be in radian mode. And I, I would love to hear someone's take on this. I don't really know why, like, in other, in other words, I don't know how to say, oh, it can't be in degree mode. I don't, I'm not sure what, how to say that, because you can graph sine and cosine on both radians and degrees, it's just typically in radian. This isn't the default. So for all the problems, unless it's mentioned otherwise, let's assume this is our default. So let's get that out of the way. On the regions, if you see a problem like this, go to radian mode. Now let me pull up the calculator, and if you look at my old calculations here, you can see that I'm plugging different things in, I'm not sure what to do. So I'm gonna clear that off, and I'm gonna go back to now where I'm sure. I press mode, and I'm gonna switch over to radian my default on the regions. And then I'm just gonna plug things in, right? We've got 3.06 times the sine of 0.017 times 44. Oof, it's really tricky. And then minus 1.4, and then plus 12.23, okay? Enter that, and here I get 10.4. This is our answer right here. Now these answers over here are degree answers. These are radian answers. And I'm sorry that I don't have a better explanation for that other than to say that is the default mode that we're going to have to assume. All right, I hope that helped. Oh, and one last thing. I, I think earlier in the video, and I was thinking that I wanted to investigate, would you actually have to know that there are 31 days in January in order to solve this problem? I believe that the answer is yes. And at, let me just go back here, show what I mean. If you entered here in this equation, if you weren't sure if there are 31 or 30 days, and if you thought there were 30 days, this number would be one lower. It would be 43. And if we can enter then, you can see it's 10.33. So if you were one day off, you would still see that 10.4 is the answer. Um, let's see if you're two days off. Let's just keep messing with this and see how accurate you would have to be with your months, days in the month. Let's go to, oops, sorry, there's a lag there, 42. Okay, so if you were a day or two off right here, if you weren't sure, you'd be able to get it. Now let's see what the other way, 
and round it up. So you said there are 45 days instead of 44. You counted that extra day. Would that mess you up? Let's see. Here's 45. Enter. No, it doesn't really mess you up. So that, that doesn't really matter so much in this case. But with 12.1, 12.2, with those degree measurements, if you were in degrees, that would throw you off, but not in radians. So fortunately, we didn't have to actually know the exact amount of days. Phew.